but it does remind us of the brevity of life and we're here but a short time compared to eternity John 14 verse 1 says this don't trouble your hearts let your heart be troubled let not it be troubled if you believe in God this is Jesus talking believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions and say rooms and mansions if it were not so I would have told you so I go and prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself there where I am you may be also and where he is right now he's in heaven but he's coming back to earth he's going to set up a kingdom right here on earth as well and uh, I look forward to that following Christ is not easy but the world's not easy either I mean, we struggle but knowing Jesus and having peace in your heart and your life is worth it all I know I've been there I know that we never know the time of our death could be today or 10 years from now those who went to work 11 years ago today on Tuesday morning September the 11th 2001 at 1029 had no idea one minute later they would be in eternity at 1030 they didn't have a chance as I said this morning in my sermon some had no idea at 1029 that a few minutes later they would be jumping out of a window to their death to avoid burning alive and unfortunately many of us give very little thought to the brevity of life you might say well Mike that's real sad of course it is that's that's a downer if you're lost you might say well Mike that's uh, I'm, I'm saved when good because if you die that's the golden key that opens the palace of heaven so we don't ever die no one has ever died Nicodemus was concerned about death so he went to see Jesus and see what Jesus meant by saying you must be born again you see religion is trying to reach God through good works you can't do it possible you must be born again that has to come before the works works won't do it if you give a million dollars a week and but if you're not born again it's, it's a moot point I found out it's my gracious saves. Not all these works, not all these do's and all these cheats and wants and not all that silly stuff. It's being born again. You can't ever meet up to the expectations of what other people want you to be. God made you personally like nobody else. He gave you a personality like no one else. You're unique. I'm unique. Everyone here is unique. Nobody is like you. Think about that. And nobody in God's eyes is any better than you. I am not any better than anyone in this room nor in my congregation. Nor I pre and I preach that. I want to say this. It takes a man to be a Christian. It takes a woman to be a Christian. It takes a man to be a Christian. Father, you know the hearts of every person in here. I don't. You know what makes them tick, and you know what they need. I don't know what they need. I know if they don't have Christ, they need you. That much I do know. And this prayer is this, Lord Jesus, I believe you're the Son of God. I believe you died for my sins. I, I want to repent of my sins, and I would like to be saved. I would like to be a part of the family of God. 